ribbon, the symbol of breast cancer awareness, dangles in the breeze outside Shelley Cornier's home. And it's not the only one. The pink ribbon on your dishwasher. Oh yeah, I mean there's the six weekend in breast cancer walks that we did on the very messy fridge. The Kleenex box is pink ribbon. There's a teddy bear there with a pink ribbon. The pink ribbons in Shelly's kitchen are there for a reason. They're a reminder of her mother who lost her life to breast cancer. I can remember like it was yesterday. Shelly was just five years old when her mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, 11 when she died. Her mother lost her battle at the age of 48. I remember she, had, she was sitting on the side of the bed and, and seeing the double mastectomy and it was just like somebody had butchered her. Like, it, the, the incisions were red and it was just, you know, it, it was not pretty, it was not, you know, it was not a pretty sight. And here I am, 10, I'm starting to develop going, oh my God, is this what it's going to be like? As Shelly neared the age of 48 herself, she feared she could face the same fate. But instead of dwelling on the fears of cancer, she decided to fight it. It's my mom's recipe, mm -hmm. and she used to make these every Christmas. Shelly made a cookbook called Tickled Pink as a way to raise funds for breast cancer research. And her mother's chocolate macaroons recipe is a favorite. So when you make these, do you think of your mom every time? Absolutely. Absolutely. All the time. Because I remember as a kid helping her. Tickled Pink has raised $45,000 for breast cancer research. So this is my way of helping. Hmm. Shelly didn't stop with baking. Along with her husband, Carl, they participate in the weekend to end breast cancer. And last year, as a special tribute to her mother, they walked and walked some more. I think she would have been proud of that. So we did. We walked across Canada, like all the, the six, seven events. Shelly has raised more than $200,000 for breast cancer research and has no intentions of stopping anytime soon. It's just too close to me not to be involved. Another cookbook is scheduled to come out in the spring of 2010. Every time I bake these cookies, I think of her. I wish her life had been different. I miss her. In Ottawa, Annette Gurner, A Morning.